Hey ladies and gentlemen, it's Popeye here again from down the rabbit hole, PopeyeRadio.com and FederalJack.com. I just wanted to shoot a video really quick. Apparently these in the car videos are somewhat popular. People like this format, so I'll keep doing it. Uh, some of the interference, like the background noise, you, you, I, I'm sitting with the AC on. It's Although it's October, I live in Florida, as you all know and it's Florida. Enough said, you still need AC in October. So you might hear a little bit of the like in the background, sorry about the car noise. And the other thing you might hear in the background is my sidekick over there, which I think I'm blocking right now. Monster, say hello. Say hi. Monster, there you are. He's chilling out seat belted in the back. So there you go. Anyway, so enough distraction. I wanna make this video short and sweet. With all the stuff you see going on, the WikiLeaks coming out, the hacked emails from Podesta, all this stuff coming out, and the only response by the Clinton campaign, or, and their, that whole camp in the DNC is, Russia did it, the emails were altered, we're not going to offer you any information or evidence to support this, but we're just going to tell you it, and the rest of the media will run with it, and hey, Russia did it. Russia and WikiLeaks are against Hillary Clinton, apparently. Even though WikiLeaks has been around for 10 years and everything they've ever leaked has been accurate. That's one of the things that they do is they make sure that the stuff that they leak is accurate. I'm not supporting WikiLeaks. I'm not for or against Assange. I'm just saying what's fact. So the information has come out from WikiLeaks. You look at it and their answer is they get defensive, no matter who it is. They get defensive. They get uh, right into this staged mode of just line of bullshit after line of bullshit. Now, why do I bring this up? This isn't about, I'm not a Trump supporter, so this isn't about vote for Trump, whatever. The point is this. Why is there so much energy and effort expended into keeping you, the viewer, baffled with bullshit? If it were... If, if what was being said about them is not factual, they could easily come out and say, well, since the emails are already released, here's the original email. You can clearly see this one by WikiLeaks is altered, if that was the case. The fact that they won't, and they resort to, well, those emails were stolen and altered, and Russia did it, but I'm not going to offer you any evidence, goes to show that there is no real valid argument. It's bullshit. It's a straw man argument. It's a logical fallacy. Go study logical fallacies if you didn't have the opportunity to, whether you were in high school or college. Go study it. Study debate. Study rational, logical debate. Not an emotional reaction where you yell and scream. That's not a debate. Emotion does not come into a rational debate. Rational and emotional are two diametrically opposed things. Okay? So, just trying to point that out. The arguments being presented to you when they come back, when they rebut something, it's brought to you in the shape of a logical fallacy. They're using straw man arguments. They're using ad hominem attacks against people, appeal to emotion. Whatever the case may be, they have to use logical fallacies to sell their whole argument. Well, newsflash, and I'm sure many of you already know this if you've been listening to me and following me on radio for all these years, Logical fallacies, as I've said a thousand times, and anybody that understands this will agree, logical fallacies and the use thereof mean you do not have a valid argument. It means your argument is built on absolute bullshit and you have to reach and create these logical fallacy based arguments in order to support your viewpoint because you don't want to concede that you're wrong. And there's bazillion reasons why they don't want to concede that they're wrong. We could go into it, you know, part of secret societies, they want world domination, one world government, all this stuff. We, the point is this, the mainstream media is going out of its way to cover up the information that's been put out in the, the WikiLeaks and deny it and blame the Russians and everything and cover for Hillary Clinton. Why? Are they doing that? Because she's establishment, because she's already been chosen by the powers that shouldn't be to be the president. And they, they have to at least put on this facade that, you know, oh, this is all the stuff coming out against her is wrong and the Russians did it. And of course, 
you could say, well, if Trump gets in, then he'll just acquiesce to the powers that shouldn't be, and that very well may happen if he gets in. But you can see the media and the people that control the media are on the side of the Clinton camp because of who she actually represents behind her and the ideas and the agenda that she's actually going to push, which isn't what she's telling her constituents, okay? A lot of people that are Bernie supporters think she's great. Oh, I'm going to vote for Hillary. She's full of shit. She's just leading you on by your emotion. If she says something that you want to hear and you're going to vote for her because she said something that you want to hear, think about that for a minute. D does that make any logical sense? I'm going to vote for somebody who I know is a criminal who stole the nomination from the person I really believed in, but she said a few things and changed her opinion, right, sure, she changed her opinion, even though WikiLeaks says that she has a public face and a private face, meaning a public stance and a private stance on issues. So she changed her opinion to be what you want. Now you're going to vote for her because she emotionally makes you feel better. Because she's uh, somewhat better. She's, not, she's better than Trump, right, I guess in your eyes, but not better than Bernie, even though she stole the nomination from Bernie Sanders. There's no logic in that, okay? And I'm not saying vote for Trump. I'm just saying vote, vote for nobody, but don't vote for Hillary because that woman's evil, flat out. Anyway, the point is, the whole point of this rant was to point out that the mainstream media and the Clinton campaign and the powers that shouldn't be are putting a ton of energy and effort into making you believe that WikiLeaks is evil and it's the Russians and all this other garbage. When they're throwing that kind of crap trying to get it to stick, it means they have nothing. They have nothing. And I don't believe if the CIA, the FBI, and whoever else, the NSA, oh, well, we, we know the Russians did it. I don't believe you people. Considering what just happened with Hillary Clinton, where you had evidence that she committed crimes, agents in the FBI itself wanted her to be prosecuted, but the head of the FBI, nah. But hey, you know, like that, that it was the Russians that did this because there's Russian fingerprints all over it. You still haven't found Hillary's emails, but you know it was the Russians that hacked the DNC and released the WikiLeaks emails, right? Right. Sure. And if, if even if it was the Russians, why attack the messenger and not the message? Mm, another logical fallacy. Deflection. Oh, it was the Russians that did it. But what about what's in the emails? Don't pay any attention to the fact that we're colluding with the media and we're scumbags and we mentioned shadow governments. And when they talked about they talked about Scalia getting whacked in the WikiLeaks emails that have been released. The term wet works. That that's assassination. That means there's no misinterpretation of that. Wet works is assassination. Anybody who knows anything about politics or history knows this. Nobody cares about that. Oh, Trump said something mean. Oh my God. I, you know, I don't care if he said something mean and I don't honestly believe any of these women that are coming out to talk shit against him. It's very convenient. You waited all this time until a month before the election and right after Bill Clinton was challenged on being a rapist and all that focus was put on Bill Clinton in a negative light and bringing up the fact that Hillary was an, a rapist enabler. And suddenly, all these women suddenly attack Trump and nobody, the media doesn't find that convenient? Of course not, because the media is help pushing the lie. Remember, they help create the narrative. If the lie is repeated enough times, people will believe it, at least a certain amount anyway. That's how the media works. So they're all full of shit. So just think about that. If you're on the fence about believing anything, and not just with this election, with any of this shit, okay, then pushing the TPP, whatever, Look how much energy and effort the mainstream media has to put in to try to baffle you with bullshit. The truth doesn't need bazillions of dollars and fanfare and video graphics and lower thirds and all this other shit. It doesn't need that. The truth is the truth. It stands on its own. Lies, however, need all this makeup and added shit to make it look nice. Because at its core, it's rotten and horrible. And it's not factual. So they got to dress it up and get you to pay attention to what's the window dressing, as Colonel L. Fletcher Prouty would say. Don't pay attention to the window dressing. Focus. Focus. Now, I, I talk to you real. I come to you from a, a standpoint of being real because I know that you're adult enough 
to listen to this conversation. I know you're old enough to hear it spoken to you like it is because I respect and love you all. I think you're all, all adult enough to handle this. I don't think you're a bunch of idiots and have to be told things in a specific way because, oh, they can't handle it because they're not mentally capable. Bullshit. That's why they treat us the way they do and then now they're trying to physically make humanity a meme of the meme that they believe that we fit into. That's what they're doing. They think we're stupid and they're getting that to think the same way about ourselves. If we were so stupid, they wouldn't have to spend so much money to try to lie to you and get you to believe they're bullshit. It's that simple. And with that, I will close this rant. I love you all. Don't forget to check me out. PopeyeRadio.com for the simple audio downloads. DTRH Radio Archives over on YouTube. Again, DTRH Radio Archives over on YouTube. And check out all my work at FederalJack.com. I love you all, and remember, the solutions to our problems are an inside job. Now go be the superheroes. I know you all are. Go be the change. I love you all. I'm out.